Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an iMessage app. So instead of making a normal app, we are going to make an app that fits inside the iMessage app. And as you will see, there's lots of uh, different possibilities to be explored in that area. So if that is something you want to explore with me and something that you want to know how to do, then just keep watching and we will make an advanced Hello World app for the iMessage app. Okay, so let's get cracking by creating a new Xcode project. So let's double click on that. And then we are going to choose a simple single view application, not an iMessage application, but a single view application. At least I'm going to do it this way. And uh, it's a very easy way to do it. And then I'm going to name it uh, um, I message app I'm going to continue make sure that the language is set to Swift and then create now I'm just going to save it on my desktop but of course you can save it wherever you want to now now is where the magic happens so right now we have a normal app but we want it to be an iMessage app so in order for us to do that we just head over to file new Go to target, then choose iMessage extension, click on next and name your extension something. So I'm going to call it iMessage ext for short for extension and activate. And here I have a new folder now and it's called iMessage extension like I named it. And as you will see, I have the normal files that I am accustomed to. So I have my view control file with my view did load method and my memory warning that I never use. Or of course, sometimes it's good to have, but really in most apps we don't use, well, let's go on. And then we have the interface right here. So the storyboard. So just as you are accustomed to, you have your usual files, even your plist. And this is where Apple has just, you know, they have made this uh, type of app incredibly powerful because it can do exactly uh, the fun. It can have exact the exact the exact same functions as a normal app can have. So that's incredible for us as developers. So let's start by creating this app, and I'm going to make it a basic Hello World app with some twists. So I'm going to have a button. That of course is going to say, say hello. And it's going to have a nice color so that people are enticed to click it. It's going to stand out with a blue color and a white text. Let's see, uh, make it a bit wider. And then I'm going to have a label that of course displays my hello world message. And uh, let's drag it a bit wider, center it. Just like that, I'm going to center the text and now I'm going to place some constraint on them so that they stay nice and in place. So this one and this one and this one. And then I'm going to have the label, set the width and the height. And I'm going to set this one and I'm going to center it horizontally in container. So that should be about it. And here we have our normal interface. Now we need to connect them up with our file, with our view controller dot Swift file. And we do that in the same old way we control drag. So select your label and control drag it in. I'm going to name it label. And then I'm going to have a button that I call button. And that's going to be an action and connect it up. Okay, so here is where all the stuff happens inside this function right here. And I'm going to do the most basic thing that I can do and that is to set label.text is equal to hello world. And we are going to extend this in a minute but now we're just going to see that everything is working as we want it to. I'm just going to have a different placeholder dot 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 like that. Okay, so let's play it, launch it and see what we've got. Okay, so here is our app. And as you can see, it doesn't launch in the normal way. It launches iMessage with this extension. 
So as you can see, it's like a normal app and, and you will also see that it's pretty small, but then you can just click this arrow right here, arrow, and you should have the full app, which you have right here. But I'm going to make it small again and let's test it by clicking say hello and it displays hello world which is awesome and is exactly what we wanted to do but now we are going to take the next step so we are going to populate this message field right here with our message which is hello world and a nice picture which is this one right here. So I would now encourage you to find some kind of image from the internet. Of course, don't use that image if it's a production app, but just for tutorial purposes, find an image and then drag it in into your here, just like that. And then we're going to uh, write the extensions that we need in order to populate this field right here with some exciting content. Okay, so what do we do? We simply say let layout let layout is equal to msm message template layout right there. And then we're going to say layout dot caption, which is our text, is equal to hello world, which is an awesome message to send to someone. And then layout dot image. I'm going to go through all of this in the end just to explain everything, but it's really not too much to it as you will see. Named and then the string is this one right here, animal.png. Animal.png. And here we have just to make everything more so you understand what's going on. Here is appearance of message. So how our message is going to look. And now we're going to add that image or um, add the message. So let's see, let message, we're going to create the message is equal to MSM message right there. And we're going to set the message and the layout of the message to be equal to the one that we just made, which is layout. And now we're going to add it to the text field. So active, conversation and this is an optional we might not have an active conversation so let's set a question mark there dot insert and we want to insert this one we want to insert the message right there and completion handler is going to be nil we, we don't need that okay so let's go over it quickly here so first we're creating the appearance of the message so how it's going to look we're adding a caption, which is the text, and we're adding an image, which is this image right here. And then we are adding, we are creating a new message right here. And then we're adding the layout to that message before we, by uh, this one, adds the message in the text field. So let's launch the app and see that everything is running as we want it to. So here is our app and let's click say hello and it says hello world and it creates this beautiful message let's send it and there we go we have our text and we have our image and as you can see if you would have a nice app icon that would display here and if we now go to the one that received the message which should be did john or kate i think john received it he will have this and he can click on it and he can reply if he also has the app. So that way you can create a communication between your uh, extensions if multiple people have the same app. So this is how you create an app in iMessage. It's very simple and man, is it powerful. You can almost make anything that you want to. So this is a really great tool for all developers. And if you enjoyed it, then make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future videos. And of course, thank you for watching.